Alright, yeah, we seem to be up and running. Wahahaha! <laughs> Alright, is the program working? Yeah. I can see my hands are moving. Did we say stuff? <laughs> is everything fine? Does the sound work? Is everything okay? I can see my fingers kind of moving. Yep. Seems to be okay now. If anything happens, honey, please tell me. Oh, yeah. So, I went to my mom's place today. And I looked for... Some Lego. Because I have a lot of Lego. And I have some old sets that I kind of wanted to, to just build them together and see what pieces I was missing so I can kind of order them from eBay uh, in the new year and while I was there I found I found a bunch of weird stuff for instance this little rubber ducky because uh, there were three kind of boxes of my Lego and then on top of that we had these little rubber duckies that's one of the things I found in the box but there were a lot more things and I'll show them off today and that'll be today's kind of weird stream. So, are you ready for the first weird item, honey? Are you people ready for some weirdness? Some oddness? Some uh, stuff you wouldn't think to see? You want Ducky to stay? Because he has a brother, you know. He's got a brother. And, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff here. Let's just start from one end, and we'll, we'll just slowly go through whatever what we have in here. So, rubber duckies, I'm sorry, you need to go over there. First thing I want to show off, and remember, these are things from, like, my uh, childhood years and my teenage years. Uh, and the first thing I want to show off is this thing. So, uh... I used, I used to work, uh, or go to, kind of a, what should you call it, uh, a gathering of goth slash metalheads, that was called Small Goth, Small Goths, and this is for a festival in 2005, where I worked as stage crew, so I got this kind of cool lanyard, with my own little thing here, and, um, yeah, everyone's on there. So this is from when I was, it's in 2005, how old was I then? I was like 16, 15, 16. So yeah, really cool. Saturday the 29th of October, so it was kind of Halloween-y, 2005. And I watched a lot of great uh, live bands, including uh, Konfront, which is a Norwegian metal band, and Sisters of Mercy. There was one more, which I don't really remember the name of. I didn't like him much. But yeah, a cool little memory from back then. Uh, and this is really old. And uh, it's still pretty pristine, actually. I may kind of hang this up somewhere in my uh, music group. But that's kind of cool to see again. Uh, and then the thing I showed off while we were waiting. Because <clears throat> there's a ferry that goes from Denmark, to, or from Norway to Denmark and back again. Uh, and it goes from my hometown, Kristiansand. And they have a mascot, and that is this guy. Hello there. This is Captain Kid. And he is the mascot of, uh, this is the company. Oh, come on. Don't do the weird thing. Thank you. This is their mascot. Ah, uh, there we go. And this is a company. It's called Colorline. That's the same logo they still have, actually. And I got this from my mother when I was very young. And I actually brought this guy to school. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, and I was a very cringy kid. And he's very cute. He's Captain Kid. Uh, and I always like little dolls like this. And only problem is he's... His head is kind of too big, so I can't really cover my eyes there, but... 
yeah. He used to be my favorite little doll thing. And I, I brought him to school. And people laughed at me quite a lot back then, because I was very cringy. Um, but he's very cute. Look, you can't be scared of this little guy. Look at him. Big nose, little eyes, little mouth. He has tiny little Muppet hands. And I always thought he was really cute and really cool. Uh, so I saved him. He's about the only teddy bear type of thing that's still alive all the way back from my uh, preschool days. So yeah, he's still here. And since we're doing kind of plushies, there is one more thing. This is kind of creepy though. Um, this is the octopus I made in the third grade. I actually skipped second grade. Uh, here in Norway, we went from starting school when we were six, no, seven, until, and start, started starting school when we were uh, six instead. And this is a little, uh, this is a little octopus I made. And I think he used to have eyes, but I don't remember that. But I can see some thread here. So he seems to have had eyes at one time. And, uh, to, for being an octopus, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 tentacles he has. As you can see, it's just me using up a lot of my mom's yarn, I think. Or did we do this in school? I don't quite remember that, if we did this in school or not, but yeah. It's an octopus, and I kind of... I did all this as a 7-year-old kid in what we call the third grade. So yeah. Kind of cool, kind of awesome. He doesn't have a name. Uh, I didn't play with him much. He, I just kind of kept him because I thought to myself, I'll never make something this cool ever again. And I haven't. <laughs> so it's just kind of a memory. Uh, I do like him though. And I'll put him over here with Captain Kid. He'll go back in the box when we're done here. Oh, uh, yep. Oh, that's kind of cool. So... Uh, this right here, it's kind of one of those, uh, what, what's it already called? Snowballs? Snow globes? And he's, it's, there's a, there's a Greek statue in there, and I think I bought this when we were to, oh, come on, when we went to Crete. And it's quite a famous statue from there. And it's actual metal and actual glass. So it's a pretty little thing, but as you can see, uh, some of the liquid has condensed in the following years. And uh, it's not as pretty as it used to be, but there's still some glitter in there, and they're, it's still kind of cool. I always liked snow globes. Uh, I have a thing for those. And it was inside of this, which is a cup that I, well, yeah. Um, <laughs> to sleep. This is a cup I got when I was like 15, and I was with a girlfriend who was quite, yeah. Uh, so this was my view on myself back when I was 15 and had a girlfriend. The slave. Um, it's an old cup, and I, th I can see the lettering is starting to go a little bit, so... Um... <laughs> uh, yeah. And also, black and white. My thing back then, very much black. Let's get the rubber duckies in there too. They can stay in the cup. Next thing. Oh, here we go. Do you like owls, honey? Because this is an owl and it's made out of horn. This is... This is actually a horn from... Uh, what is it again? I think actually it's it's some kind of bull. Um, and I got this from my granddad from one of his trips. He tended to... Uh, he tended to kind of bring back these little oddities of a gift. I think this one is from Iceland, and it's made out of bull or goat's horn. And it's kind of chopped in there, and with little beady eyes. He's really... he's very nicely made. I like him. He also brought back uh, a polar bear, made out of crystal glass. I have that sitting over there on my, uh, in one of my many places of interest in my living room. So yeah, uh, cool little owl. And a lot of these things will be things that I got from family. Uh, and that I saved because I'm not very good at throwing away things. Uh, I keep memories. I do. I tend to do that. 
an unworn Christmas tie with a golfing Santa on it. And I think I got this for Christmas from a friend of mine. We were kind of doing Secret Santa at school. Should we hear if this tie actually still works? It still fucking works all these years later. Right. This is the crappiest tie I've ever seen, but I think it's... You know what? I do collect ties now. <laughs> As an adult, I may actually open this and use it for the last day of school with my students that like that. So, this will not go back in the box, I think. This will actually go in my tie collection downstairs. I'll put it over there for now. Uh, why golf? Don't know. Just a weird thing. Um, I have a great aunt, my dad's aunt. And she, she went to China uh, a few years ago. And she brought back a few things. Uh, one of the things she brought back was this. Beautiful. Let's see if I can slowly get it out there. This beautiful hand-painted fan. And it is actually hand-painted. You can peel the ridges and everything. Um, I got one and my sister got one. And I also got a very cool mask. I have that downstairs. Um, it's an actual hand-painted beautiful thing. And um, it does work. But I try to keep mine pristine. My sister's went bad years ago. She tends not to take too good care of her things. Uh, I tend to have mine for the rest of my life if I really like stuff. So this is one of those things where I, I, I really take care of it. And I, I put it in that plastic box just to keep it nice and safe. Beautiful thing. See? There you go. So an actually Chinese thing. I have two wooden bowls and these are from Vietnam. Uh, I went with my mother to Vietnam. Just let me get rid of some of the dust here so it's a little bit nicer looking and these are just little wooden balls and uh, we actually saw the guy who made these make more uh, he was having he had his little workshop line like just on the street and he made these beautiful little balls uh, and I can't really use them for anything I'm, I'm afraid they'll get scratched but they are very pretty and on that same trip I got uh, a silken robe, I got myself some shirts, I don't fit both anymore, I was 15, 16 years old when I went there. Um, I got some, uh, I got some Mother of Pearl clams, those are over there on my shelf. Um, and I got these and some chopsticks and I brought all that home as kind of souvenirs from different places around uh, Vietnam. But I like these bowls, the simplicity of them, and when they are one inside of the other, look at this. Isn't that a pretty thing? Right. Kind of look almost organic, doesn't it? Right. Next thing. This is a conch. Just a shell. Or a sea snail shell. And this shell used to be in my um, great-grandmother's living room window. And... I always listened to this when I was little, and when she died, I don't know how I ended up with it, but I ended up getting the, the conch from her little shelf. And I've taken care of it all until now, it's still completely intact and completely nice and whole, and uh, I try to, to really save things like this, because they mean a lot to me. Um, it makes me think of my, about my great-grandmother, and I don't remember much, right? I was four years old when she died in 1994. Um, but I do remember some things. I remember, for instance, that she was very deaf and we had to really scream to her to make her understand anything. Uh, and she didn't move much. She usually just sat there and we moved around her. But I do remember her. And this show makes me think of her. That goes on the, the thing over there. Alright, next thing. What should we take out? Oh, yeah. Um. My... <laughs> my uncle, he works in the embassy, and he brought back these, it's just a little baggie of, it's 
sugar and it's uh, some sort of weird chili and it's fish sauce uh, from Maggie and he brought it back from Thailand and I just like this little thing I like the miniature kind of bottles and everything so I have kept them and I will never open these I'll just let them stay in a little baggie oh come on camera don't be a freaking fucker there we go I always just like the miniatureness of these things I find them kind of pretty and I'll keep them like this that can also go in the cup over there. And yeah, I think a lot of people who went to China before, they, they used to take back these little trinkets like the fans. Uh, not that many people go to China now, especially now with the COVID and everything. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, it still works. This is the backlight for my first bicycle that I got uh, that was kind of grown-up size and my own size uh, and I I've kept it just to kind of remind me of the bike um, it still works let's see here see still lights up and these are on the same batteries I used all those years ago huh but it makes it really easy to see in in the dark and I, I use the bicycle a lot actually I, I was quite an athlete when it came to bicycling back then uh, nowadays not so much <laughs> uh, Next thing, uh, this thing, this is the pedometer I had when I was younger, and it it actually, I could connect this to my bike, and this would, oh, there's actually there's a little bit of light left in the screen, not much, but I could actually, I could put this on my bike, and it would count the amount of, um, of, of miles I would bicycle. Uh, and I could also wear it on me as a pedometer and I could use it as a start and stopwatch so I could kind of time myself when I was out biking really cool thing and it, it kind of clicked into this little holder on my bicycle uh, on the, the, the grips of my bicycle I loved it but it, it didn't it stopped working but I got it from my grandparents so I kind of have I've kept it that's that's what I do I keep a lot of stuff so it's it's mostly there for nostalgic reasons and of course, since I was 15, I had to paint the flames on the back red and put one of my favorite band names on there, Lordy. Lordy, Lordy, Hilkus 40. Camera. Thank you, camera. This is literally a rock. It's, uh, it's a quartz stone rock. And I got it from a quarry when I was out, um, I think this was in like the 7th grade, and we went to a rock quarry, and I found these these crystals, and they are teeny tiny crystals on this big sleet of rock, but I'll see if we can get this to close up. Do you see that there's kind of a crystalline structure up top, the line, nice six-sided crystals up there? There ain't much to see though, but yeah, it's just... They were so pretty, and I kept them. Uh, I still have them to this day. It's the only thing I have from school, I think, except for the octopus over there. But from my school days, this this is one of my good memories. I liked that kind of field trip. There's more stuff. All right. A lighter. I don't think this works anymore. A lot of gas, right. but it's we went to a place called Bø in Telemark. It's it's a place in Norway, and you can see it's a Norway lighter. Uh, and I had to to get the grill going, so I went and bought myself a lighter, and I bought a nicer one, and I kept it just for the memories. So this is from camping with my uh, grand grandparent grandparents actually. They had a camping uh, camping vehicle, a van, a big one, um, and. This is from one of those trips, so kind of a childhood memory in very nice stainless steel form. <laughs> you go there. A little bit further in. All right. So my mother, she is born on the July the fourteenth, same date as Louis Armstrong. No comparison, uh, comparison, otherwise. But 
She is also uh, a trump trumpetist. She plays a trumpet. And uh, th this is just a little book about her star sign. Uh, I don't remember what that is in the English. Oh, sorry. Uh, and this is just like 50 teeny tiny pages about how those types of people are, according to the astrological signs. Is it Pisces? Is that the thing? I don't remember. But yeah. She's kind of high tension. Oh. This here. This is the charger for my... Uh, I, I had this... Um, I had this... Um, radio controlled vehicle. An RC vehicle. RC... Uh, I really loved it. And I had it for two days and then my sister destroyed it. She hit it with an oar. With an actual oar from a boat. And she crushed it. And I was really sad. So I've kept the charger. It was the uh, it was a Tyco, and it's it, it it would turn around. So whenever you reversed or went forward, the whole vehicle would flip around. So you had kind of two vehicles in one, and they could do um, it, it could do like cool little tricks and stuff. Um, <laughs> it had to charge for six hours, and you would get like fifteen minutes of good playtime out of it, and then you'd have to charge it until the next day again. So that was. Cool, but crap at the same time. All right, Let's see here. Oh, this this thing has gotten a little bit destroyed. But my uh, my grandparents they went to Budapest. Oh, sorry, people, for the sounds. They went to Budapest and they brought back this cute little. It's a little Stein. And uh, it came in this great little box. But there's, you know, plastic. It goes kind of crusty when it goes gets a little older. This thing has gotten absolutely destroyed with age, but yeah, I, I kind of kept it in this little plastic box and keep it nice and neat and keep the uh, keep all the uh, stuff out of, of it, right? So it looks really cute like that, and uh, I wish this little box was still intact, but it's not anymore. Oh, and that's that's my fault. All right, more stuff. So. My sister had a thing for uh, the Diddle character. It was a little mouse. Um, and I tried to give her this as a gift once, but she was kind of just got she had just gotten over the character. I think this one is Diddle, and I think the little teddy bear is called Pimbley or something like that. Um, and she didn't want it anymore. And I felt kind of sad about that because I, 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 I bought it for her. But, yeah, it went in the box, and I've kept it, and it's still here. So, on my, if you're watching this, uh, and you want this, you can still have it. it. It was bought for you once, once upon a time, it was bought for you. It doesn't take much space. She's kind of a minimalist, she doesn't want to have too much stuff in her house and stuff. Whatever. <laughs> A red tinted looking glass. Uh, and it ain't much of a looking glass, but it is a looking glass. Um, this thing came with a little book. It's uh, the Mickey Mouse mystery book. And on every page there would be these pictures that would have a lot of stuff in red. And then there would be kind of things hidden behind the red that you can only see with the magnifying glass. It was kind of a mystery book for kids. And I, I got it when I was, I think it was six years old or something. Uh, the book is long gone. I have this little uh, little thing. It actually said says there Mickey's Mysteries in, in Norwegian, of course, Mickey's Mysterio. But so, it's a little Disney thing. Um, I'll probably keep it forever because I'm weird like that. <laughs> uh, what more do we have? Oh, where? Workout gear. <laughs> and. Uh, well, you are supposed to just do this, right? Um, these things are made for actual bodybuilders. And nowadays, I'm afraid to put my beard inside of them. Because when you stretch, you make little... And I remember uh, actually using these a lot. And getting my uh, chest hair caught in this a lot. Uh, so I was chest hair free for a few years there while I used these. So that's cool. 
Okay, we're gonna use those again. And then this. Uh, my uncle, he uh, works in the embassy. And he was in the Norwegian embassy in Pakistan. And uh, he bought me this little kind of Pakistan rug. And it's hand knitted, you can see in the back. It's all done by hand. And it is kind of pretty, but I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to put this. Let's hope your Wi-Fi gets back up, honey. Uh, but yeah, it's a cool thing. Um. So, a few wooden vehicles, and I, I, I've never been much for cars. I didn't like cars. I don't like cars. Darn it! Is is it my? Is it buffering here? Or is it just your uh, internet that's buffering? But yeah, uh, nice wooden cars. And actually, now that I've found these, these ones I'll put on display because they are very, very nice. Um, and they got a lot of nice little neat details, like these kind of holes for the exhaust and everything. And yeah, these are really cool. And and they're my style of cars. If I was to ever have a car just to drive around and to kind of be interested in and have a cool car, it would be a 1930s vehicle. One of the early forge or something like that. And let's see here. So, actually, these will go on display. Those will go to the left here, where I put the things I might actually use in the very near future. And then we have, and these are for my great grandmother. And uh, these are two ships that I got, and she she bought these for me. And I, it seems that they may have gotten some damage over the years being in the box. I'm gonna fix these up, and these are gonna go in my bathrooms, I think. Just as little display pieces, because they are really, really nice little things. Um, come on. Get fixed. Which is what we should say to most rapists. Get fixed. Alright, so it's a fishing boat. An old-fashioned Danish fishing boat. And then a little tiny rowing boat. And they're all made of wood and they're handmade. And they sell these. And you can see it's kind of written Skagen, written on by hand. Uh, and on this one, it's a part of the design. On this one, I think my uh, great-grandmother actually wrote it on herself. So, these will go in the bathroom. I'll put them there, and uh, they'll look nice. <laughs> there is a little pearl missing. There's a pearl in here anyway. But I can get a little gas pearl. That shouldn't be an issue, should it? Next thing. Boom. <laughs> T-shirt that my grandma, grandma, my grandpa got me when he went to uh, when he went to Iceland. Little polar bears, long yabian. It's back in, and it's placement in the world, right? Nice little t-shirt, and I've saved it ever since then. I'm gonna save it until I'm dying, I think. And the same thing with this thing. I was a huge Star Wars fan. And my mom, she got me, I think I was like 8 or 9 years old. She got me this sweater. And it's almost destroyed. There's not much left of this picture, right? Uh, but this was the coolest shit back then. Star Wars, and it had Darth Maul on it, and I loved Darth Maul. Remember, people, I was 11 when this movie came out. This was this was my bread and butter as an 11-year-old. Uh, I also had a weird hat uh, with Darth Maul on it, and with some uh, <sighs> less than enjoyable little uh, weird things on top. Uh, we'll get to it. 
we'll get to it. Uh, I don't have it here, but sometime in the future, I guess I'll find it. And I'll show it off. Next thing. Another gift from my great-grandmother. And she actually got my name burnt in there. Burnt in the wood. Um, so this one will go on display, I think, as well. Does it still work? It's a little spinning top. It still works. <laughs> it works very nice, actually. This is a really nice spinning top. It's very, very well made. Um, yeah. I'll put this with the cards and stuff. Just on the display. Yeah, one last thing. Last thing today. And, first of all, uh, this one I got from my uh, aunt and uncle. They went to uh, to Africa. They went to Safari. And I got this little... It's a it's a bookmark. And this is really nice. It's made in uh, kind of a bronze. Uh, and there's a little elephant stamped on. And we'll fix this. And I'll use it. And then there's this, these little figures. And these are little knights. All made out of metal. And my mom had these from her growing up. And I kind of took them over, because I thought they were really cool. And I think these two might go on display somewhere. A little bit later. And there's like a little Viking guy here. <laughs> yeah. And this book is also from my uh, great-grandmother. And she bought this from me in Denmark. Uh, actually, I think it's from the Fair Fairiana. It's some islands outside of Denmark that, that they own. Um... All these things, a lot of them I think I'll try and display. And what I won't display goes back in that box and it goes in the basement. And it'll stay there. Alright. Well, that's all I wanted to show you today. Just a weird box. And I'll be back uh, later today, just in an hour or so. And we'll do some actual gameplay. Hope to see you then and uh, bye people. Have a good one. And then always such a long time to press the button now. Huh?